In this video, you'll learn about the Fireland project, what is it, what features it offers to users and how to prepare for the launch of its main product. Subscribe to the Krypton channel and let's get into it. Fireland is a multiplayer roleplay play to earn game where heroes, pets, weapons and equipment are NFT tokens running on the Binance Smart Chain network. The game has not been released yet, but it's already known that it will be available on iOS and Android. After the game is released, we'll make a second video, where we'll fully analyze the gameplay and the game mechanics of the project. Also, the developers have revealed some of the aspects of the gameplay. Thanks to this, we know that the genre of the game will be an RPG with battles and a large number of game elements that will be in the form of an NFT. Despite the fact that the game is not yet available for users to play, we can already buy some game items and characters on the project's website, the link to which you will find in the description. To log in into Feraland, connect your wallet by clicking on Wallet Connect. For this, wallets such as MetaMask, Coin98 or Trust Wallet will be great options. You can connect the last one using the Wallet Connect function. We have separate video guides about each of the wallets, the links to which you will find also in the description. To study and purchase the game Heroes, go to the Heroes section. Here you will see all characters that can be used in the game. They are also divided into races, classes and genders, which makes each character unique. You can select a character by race using the filter on the left side of the screen. With the help of the advanced filters, you can select your character's body parts and characteristics, as well as the rarity levels from common to mythical. The purchase of characters on the marketplace is carried out using the BNB token. On the right side, you can see the character's class and race, as well as its stats and body parts. Next to the hero's image, you will find various equipment that improve its stats. There are three ways to get equipment. The first is on the marketplace, which is in the item section. Here you will also find the filter where you can select the hero's race, for whom the equipment is intended, the rarity of the equipment, its tier and level. Advanced filters will help you select the slot, its effects and its stats. This will allow you to select the required equipment for a character more accurately. In the item set bonus section, the hero card contains additional bonuses for the sets of heroes that are equipped with a certain number of items from the set. Also, it is important to pay attention to the fact that in the case of items, the purchase takes place for the project's token Farah and not BNB. You can get equipment for 5 Farah tokens by going to the gacha section. After going to this section, you need to select an event, then the gacha machine window will open. Below you can see all the prizes that can be obtained for the game. However, it's worth noting that many of them can no longer be obtained from the machine, since users have mined the maximum possible number of them. Also, many items cost less than the cost of a single game of gacha. Keep this in mind. All items that you bought or got in the gacha machine can be found in the wallet section. Another way to get equipment is opening the Faro Binance packs on the Binance NFT marketplace and the purchase of the equipment already received from their opening. However, please note that until the introduction of the withdrawal function on the Binance NFT platform, you will not be able to use cars in the Fireland game. We told you more about this marketplace in one of our videos, the link to which you can find in the description. The next mechanics already implemented by the projects is located in the staking section. All playable characters are represented here. By choosing one of them, you can send your tokens to staking, for which the character will receive experience and you will receive a reward in form of 5% annually from your deposit. To stake the FARA tokens, you need to approve the use of your assets on the character's card by clicking on the Approve FARA button. After that, enter the number of FARA tokens to deposit and click Stake. You can buy FARA tokens on a decentralized exchange, for example PancakeSwap, by clicking on the Buy FARA button on the main page of the platform or by clicking on the link in the description. We also have a detailed video about decentralized exchange. You can watch it by going down below in the description. The project is still under development and most of its functionality has not been revealed by the developers yet. It is only known that the first game test will be published by November 2021. Earn on cryptocurrency, subscribe to the Krypton channel and our social media. All links will be in the description.